brains. Brains. Nom, 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 nom. I've recently been getting on an Asian horror kick again, more broadly speaking, a foreign horror kick again, and watching a lot of, uh, not just horror actually, I've been like watching some of Fellini's stuff from Italy and uh, really enjoying, or blown away by some of the films I've been watching recently, to be honest, and more to follow on those. But some of you who've been subscribed to this channel for a long time will know that I did go through this real phase where especially monkey tube who has put me on so many great asian horror films that i went through a phase where i was reviewing a lot of asian horror and there's definitely a few coming up again because i've got back into that and one film that had always been on my sort of to-do list you know films that i really wanted to watch because i'd heard so much about it was the 2002 film dark water and the reason for this is that round about that time uh, a lot of people were talking about J-horror, sometimes, you know, unfairly because it wasn't actually, it wouldn't be a Japanese horror film that they were actually referring to, be a, a film from Thailand or South Korea, from a completely different country. But they all sort of get lumped in together. And the, the poster child for that, uh, <clears throat> that craze was, you'll excuse me, my throat's really dry, I was at No Gallagher gig last night and I sang every word of every song. And my throat's just going, hey, don't speak. Anyway, uh, the that's derailed my review. Uh, the remember that time the, the, the main film was uh, The Ring, which had been released in I think 1999, and it was directed by uh, Hideo Nakata. And people were looking for other films that were like The Ring, and you had the over here, you had the whole sort of uh, tartan extreme releases of. Asian horror films and Dark Water was one of them that people kept talking about and the re I don't know why I didn't watch it at the time but one I think one of the reasons was that I had watched the remake first which is almost never a good idea which is was the film starring Jennifer Connelly I can't remember much about that film I remember thinking that it was okay um, <clears throat> nothing more really and I'm sure I'll probably check it out at some point uh, again. But I think I put off watching the original because I had watched the, the remake first, which was uh, 2005. And finally, I got around to watching it. And first thing that you must know about this film is that don't go in expecting The Ring all over again. The Ring is more of a, an overtly supernatural story. It's more of a ghost story. The horror and uh, the supernatural element is very much center stage whether it be elements of, of psychic ability amongst the, the protagonists or whether it be this e evil little girl who seems to have some sort of um, unbelievable supernatural ability even from beyond the grave that takes center stage in the ring but in <clears throat> Hideo Nakata's film Dark Water that is not the case. It, it, it's it's not central to the film, so you should go in with that knowledge because if you don't go in with that knowledge, you might be disappointed. The film follows a character called Yushomi, played by Hitomi Kuro Kurokai. I mispronunciation again, probably, so I apologise. And it's about uh, this woman uh, Yoshimi. She's in this terrible, bitter divorce, and the sort of pawn that's being used in the middle of this divorce is the daughter uh, Ikuko who um, is who Yoshimi obviously wants to hold on to and there's this sort of custody battle going on and at the moment what's happened is that she's being evaluated it seems by some sort of social services and uh, they'll decide who's the sort of fitter parent to look after the daughter and Yoshimi at this point has to prove that she can go and get a job, that she can take care of her daughter and that she can go and provide a place for them to live. So Yoshimi does find an apartment and they go to this apartment and it is quite run down, it's an older building and there's a lot of damp in the building all, all over but at least it's a roof over their heads as, as Yoshimi tries to find uh, work. When they're there, they move in and while they're there Yoshimi notices that there is 
dripping coming down from the ceiling in her daughter's room so she goes upstairs to the uh, apartment above there's no one in she can't seem to get in she talks to the janitor of the building uh, and he doesn't seem interested in it at all but she's obviously concerned that this damp and this water is falling down in the, the room that our, our daughter sleeps in and at the same time as this, there starts to be this question about a girl that went missing, a young girl, who uh, seemed to uh, live within the community, and she has just completely disappeared, and there's a lot of sort of missing posters and, and stuff like that. And obviously what happens is that people start seeing her uh, in and around where Yoshimi and her daughter lives. And so you have this mystery element as to what happened to her um, and what she wants, really. I don't want to go too much uh, further into it because I don't want to ruin it. Excuse me. I'm, I'm drinking wine because I like white wine. Uh, and it's Saturday night, come on. So the, the main thing about this film, again, is that that's the mystery element. But really, it's the drama about this woman who is <clears throat> coming out of a divorce. I think it's implied, really, that her husband wasn't very attentive, she, he, that he didn't even really care much about the daughter, and only now in the divorce, maybe as some sort of retribution against his wife for leaving him, does he actually show any interest in the daughter. And it's about her struggle, and it's about her struggle to protect her daughter. The, the entire film is about her trying to do best by her daughter, trying to make sure that her daughter is okay. That aside, don't think that there are not that, that there are no scary moments in this film. There are some really genuinely frightening moments in this film, especially some involving a lift. Uh, people that have seen it will know what I'm talking about. And it's it really is worth watching. I I thought it was really entertaining. Uh, even though I'd watched the remake, I, I, I've still found it entertaining. I think what Hideo Nakata does really well is he creates this atmosphere, this this vibe, and I th the the almost of this uh, oppressive vibe of of some impending doom. I think that's really important in the the sort of, sort of supernatural genre. I think a lot of people don't realise that. <clears throat> um, I went to see The Women in Black recently. I reviewed that. I did enjoy that film but it didn't have that aspect to it and I think if it had had that it would have been a really great film it really would have been um, but people seem to forget that the atmosphere within a ghost story is, is most important, most paramount far more important than actually showing anything the weakness to the film is the conclusion which feels very rushed and you can have a sort of uh, YTF moment when you're watching it where you're kind of like what happened, what's going on it just kind of ends all of a sudden and that's okay though it, because the ending does tie in to the overall theme of a mother looking after a child so it, it's okay from that point of view it's just very rushed and uh, it, it, it just doesn't sit well with the rest of the film but some great moments of uh, terror real chills and I really enjoyed it but I would say this, I don't think it's quite as good as some people make out. I don't think it's an absolute classic of its genre, put it that way. I think it's a very good, very competent film. It's very enjoyable, has scares in it, but it's not a masterpiece by any stretch of the imagination. It's just a, it's just a, a good Japanese horror film uh, that is about family drama. So definitely go and check that out and I'll be back soon with some more reviews uh, go and check out the forums below if you want to talk about some other films and stuff like that with me and if you've got any requests about uh, like topics to discuss or anything like that just leave a note down below and I will get to that so thanks for watching and I'll see you all soon bye for now